All right, welcome to LRR vlog number two. Me and Steve are here at Five Flags Speedway today. It's Friday, uh, Pro Late Models tonight and local divisions. So we'll be getting you content from that, interviews, you know, the usual. And then tomorrow, uh, the Pro Late Models head to Montgomery for a double header weekend. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, two races in one week and JP should meet us for Montgomery tomorrow. So he'll be on the vlog too. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so we're here with Seth Christensen, who's driving the 35 Pro Late model today at Pensacola. So obviously, you know, your Pro Late model year has been off to a good start, winning the Alabama 200. Um, so how do you feel about the car going into today, and what are your expectations? Uh, the car yesterday was uh, pretty good. We were figuring out some stuff for a longer run, and uh, some old tires. We sent us some uh, some scenarios for uh, late race stuff. So, uh, we, uh, worked that. Uh, we have some stuff to work on, especially a little bit on a uh, corner race there. But, um, we have a pretty good chance today with uh, everybody here. It's a pretty tough, uh, pretty tough competition here. But we'll see what we can do. With the double header with Montgomery this week, what are you anticipating as far as setup changes to have to do tomorrow? Uh, there'll definitely be a lot of stuff to change. Um, we'll we'll definitely have some time uh, as soon as the race is over uh, tonight. We'll pack up and uh, uh, bus butt over to get over to uh, Montgomery and set some stuff up, and uh, we'll have a good day. Well, I'm just gonna say, last time we interviewed you, you won. So no pressure today. That's right. That's but yeah, good luck. Yes, sir. All right. So. Um, practice is over. First practice, Bryson Schaffer was fastest. Second practice, um, Gavin Bochelle was fastest. So, uh, Steve and I are waiting by the truck. Um, probably gonna go get some more interviews. By now you've seen the interview we did with Seth Christensen. So there's that. Um, and not sure who we're gonna interview next, but for sure we'll interview the top three after the race. Um, gonna try to make that a, a tradition from here on out. So, and considering that kind of working for Racing America tonight too, um, that we really need to interview the top three. So we're gonna go uh, do some more work and we'll see you guys in a bit. So we're with Dawson Sutton. You're fast in practice. You lead the points coming here for Alan Turner Pro Late Models. How do you feel about your chances tonight? I feel really good, honestly. We've, we've made a lot of practice runs. Uh, came here yesterday, we were really quick. We've been really quick the whole time. But uh, hopefully we can sit down and laugh and qualify. That's the goal. And hopefully we get qualifying honestly it's starting to look better about the rain uh, hopefully it doesn't hit but hopefully we can sit down a lap and qualifying and start up front get it roll a good invert uh, that's the goal so what are you expecting as far as setup changes for montgomery tomorrow and what it's going to take to adapt to such a quick turnaround you know i'm just really excited to run two races in one weekend I don't get to do that a lot that's for sure uh, and then both of these tracks are probably two of my favorite tracks so it's really really cool to be here honestly this is this place is awesome. Uh, it's it's really tough, um, and it, I guarantee you it's gonna be a really hard hard race tonight and then tomorrow for sure. But uh, hopefully we can get it done both nights. That's the goal. All right. Good luck. So Bryson Schaffer, you're fast in practice. You were the fast qualifier for the Pro Late Models. How do you feel going into the night? I feel really good about the car. I feel much better than the last time we come down here. We worked on a few things and changed changed a lot, and it seemed to be proven pretty good. So we're gonna see how the race goes, and that's all we can do. What do you think the key is gonna be tonight? Staying Saving tires. 
it's a big thing here and it's like the biggest thing with the pros nowadays with 100 lap races just saving tires that's the biggest thing well good luck with the dice roll thank, thank you. you sir whatever comes up is what the invert is from the order of qualifying and bryson Schaffer is gonna roll It tried not to be, but unfortunately for Bryson, it's a six. Six card in there. Thompson is going to do on this dice roll. Guest roller with a Grant Thompson Racing t-shirt on. And for the pro trucks, with enough. Stephen Davis is going to be six anyway, but Grant Thompson rolls a six. All up to you. Good job, all three of them. Big row, Maddox Langham is hollering for a one. We've already had two sixes. This time it's gonna be... Stay, stay. That's a four. That's a four. That's a four. <laughs> four. It's on the edge. Gotta do it again, Maddox. Maddox wants a one to be showing. Go ahead. Give it your best shot. The three dice rollers for Maddox Langham are going to come up with a four. Four invert for the sportsman tonight. So Gavin Bushell, you crossed the line first tonight for the Pro-A Model 100 laps, but something happened in tech. I guess explain what happened. Uh, we rolled through it. I think some of the left side, like point one on the left side was like too heavy, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it's all right. I, mean, I don't think, I think any racer knows it wouldn't really make much of a difference on the track. So it's all right. We'll do it again tomorrow and uh, beat, them by, beat them even more tomorrow. What do you think the key was to being up front tonight? Uh, really just smooth. I was pretty uh, pretty consistent, tried to make no mistakes because at the end of the day, you know, whoever makes the most mistakes is going to lose. So I pretty, stayed pretty disciplined on my line, both three and four and one and two. So I uh, couldn't thank these faculty guys enough for giving me a good car and uh, hope, hope to win tomorrow. Yep, we'll see you tomorrow. So Dawson Sutton, you crossed the line in second, but after the race in Tech, your teammate Gavin, he was, uh, he was DQ'd. Um, so you're now the winner. So I guess take us through your race and what all happened and how you managed to be up at the front. Yeah, it was a hard fought race, that's for sure. Um, it definitely definitely sucks the way we won. Uh, you never want to win like that, especially when it's your teammate. Um, we both drove our butts off, that's for sure. It was a tough race. Uh, we were sliding around all over the place at the end, so it was a crazy race. But I just want to thank this whole Rockley, Roo, Rockley War crew. They gave me a freaking a rocket tonight. So, so uh, tomorrow at Montgomery, 
I guess we'll see you then. And what do you think this team? What do you think the message to the team is going to be after an, a weird night tonight? I mean, yeah, that's for sure. Um, I know they're just going to bring me another fast car tomorrow, so that's hopefully we can go two in a row. I guess at, hopefully not in tech tomorrow, but hopefully we can go win tomorrow at Montgomery. That's for sure. That'd be a cool, cool place to win two in a row. Well, we'll see you then. So after a long night, um, a lot to uncap, so or unpack, whatever. I can't talk. So first things first, Gavin Bochel at first won the pro late model race. Afterwards, he was disqualified for his left side weight being too heavy. So his teammate Dawson Sutton got the win, and Hunter Robbins, who finished third, is now second. And I think John Bolin was fourth and is now third. So yeah, Gavin Bushell has been disqualified. Um, there was a bad crash that happened right here in turns uh, one and two. I don't, I think I got some video of the, the cleanup, but Johnny Crash Armendia, um, he hit was it Cataldi, Anthony Cataldi head on and destroyed both cars. Thankfully, everybody's okay. We, we got Johnny Crash's door. So that was neat. Um, we talked with them. He saw we had the door, he came over, we talked, said the throttle is he's like, he lost car control. I mean, he let out of the throttle, but he just, he tried to turn it down and he couldn't stop in time. Um, so just kind of a weird freak accident. And not only did we get the door, uh, we got, we got a tire. It's, it's broken. I mean, it's the rims bent and everything, but we got a race tire and a used door. And this is only half of the weekend we got to get up and go to montgomery tomorrow do it all over again so uh yeah disqualification in the pro late model race truth be told um i don't know who won all the local stuff uh i'll put i'll like splice it and put the text in down below so you can see who won what um steve got some victory lane pictures for his camera died so it's it's been a night back at it again tomorrow at montgomery guys be sure to tune on our Racing America. It's gonna be awesome. Yep. So yeah, it's it's been something. Um, I I don't know how to explain the night besides just like, ungovernable, I guess. Ungovernable, chaotic, wild, and we get to get up tomorrow morning and do it all over again. So, uh, anyways, this is this is it for today. Uh, see you guys in just a few seconds on your screen. Uh, when we're at Montgomery Motor Speedway tomorrow. All right, it's race day again for the second day in a row. So we're here at Montgomery Motor Speedway today. We got the Prolate Models again for their doubleheader weekend. We got Grand National Super Series and Outlaws, Late Model Sportsmen, and Street Stocks. So there's JP joined us for today. Steve's still sitting in the truck. Um, but we already did get one interview today, which you're about to see in a second. Uh, we got to talk with former NASCAR driver, now Grand National Super Series driver, Jeremy Mayfield. So uh, you'll see that and we'll get more content throughout the day. So we'll see you guys later. So we're here with Jeremy Mayfield. So you're running with the Grand National Super Series at Montgomery today. You've never been here before. So what are some things that you're gonna take into the race that might help you? Well. Uh, a lot of it's just experience, you know, like I've got a lot, a lot of experience running a lot of different racetracks and uh, we come here and tested yesterday and ran, ran good and, uh, you know, still just uh, uh, oval track racing, you know, you just got to you know, take whatever you learn throughout your whole career and apply it to whatever you go and that's kind of what we do here. So what have been some of the good things about the Grand National Super Series that have made you run with it the whole um, season? First of all, I like it. It's just a laid back series, you know, there's not a lot of uh, uh, politics going on, you know, you just come here and race and have a good time and, um, Bob Shack um, run the series, him and his wife Patty, and they're great people, and I've known them forever, you know, so it's good to be around people like that, and uh, just having a lot of fun. I mean, I'm, I'm enjoying doing it, and uh, uh, Bob always brings me a good car to drive, so I'm happy with that, and just really having a good time right now. Right. Thank you.
with Hunter Robbins. You won here tonight for the Pearl A model race. Just walk us through the race and what you had to do to get there at the end. Uh, mainly just, uh, it was kind of a different race starting with the sun out and then ending at night. Um, our car wasn't very, wasn't very good at the beginning. It wasn't good enough to really pass and just kind of go flying through the field starting back where we had to start, uh, starting at 8th, uh, eighth, eighth, I believe, or 10th, or because uh, the Brandon qualifying started by the points. So um, we just kind of had to ride the first like 25, 30 laps and then finally got to where we could start picking them off, making our way to the front. And then uh, kind of saw, I guess, it was kind of banking on it going green at, at, once we started pushing hard because they had gotten they had gotten a little bit over a straightaway ahead of us um, that we had to um, – I mean, we had we had to kind of push, and it just didn't like we were going to have a caution, and the laps were going down pretty fast, and so. But we, which, the lot of traffic started getting heavy. That really helped us, um, and I just kind of pushed hard, and, and and we was we was able to get there. I mean, the cars did not drive; they weren't great tonight. They were, we were everybody looked like those was really tight. I mean, the track was really slow, and um, just uh, you know, we was able to come away with another victory, and and, and glad to be here. And you finished on the podium yesterday, too. So to have that performance along with this, you've had a great weekend. So how would you recap how everything's gone? Uh, yeah, I mean, we thought we, we felt like we should have won last night. We had a, a bad tire in qualifying, and our car was just vibrating so bad that we couldn't drive it. And uh, uh, didn't know didn't know what was going on, really. Didn't know we had a bent wheel, bad tire. Didn't know what we had. And, was, and started started back in the field because we qualified bad and uh, was able to kind of the same thing. We just not very many cautions so uh, we, we it took a while to get to the front but we were the fastest car on the racetrack at the end of the racetrack or in the race just just uh, ran out of laps getting there and uh, so felt like we should have won last night and, and then uh, that's really the only bummer about the whole weekend is not is not winning last night so Chris tell us you finished second tonight in the prolate model feature so just walk us through your race and how everything went yeah no I mean we had a good car. It started off a little iffy and then kind of came to me there when me and Augie were racing and really there till 70 or 80. I was pretty content with it and then it just started getting tight and I just didn't have enough to hold Hunter off and the only way I could get it to do anything is I had to pretty much park it in the middle of the corner and I finally just the brakes up on it too. So I was hanging on there at the end. It didn't surprise me when they said how quick he was getting to me. I knew he was hanging around us. But it just sucks. It's like it's the same story, you know, different weekend or something like that, right? It is what it is. We had another shot at him, and I'm sure down the road we'll have another shot at him again. So, so Augie Grill, you finished third tonight, so just walk us through your race and how everything went for you. Uh, I don't know. We started there and uh, got up to second or seventh there pretty quick, and uh, we're riding behind Hunter there before the that caution, and uh, I noticed they could turn centered a little better, not good. Uh, Honestly, felt like after the caution, my only chance was to get, get ahead of him and uh, hopefully get out the lead. Wasn't able to get the lead, but got the second. And uh, I knew he'd be coming because it, it, from behind it looked like his car was a fair amount better than mine. And, uh, and it showed he eventually got clear of everybody, and here he came. And uh, we just need to turn just a little better center, and I think we'd have had a shot for it. But uh, anyway, all in all, a good night. We've run this car five times this year, and we've got four top three set finishes, so that, that's not too bad.
been raced two, 250 lappers, right? Um, <laughs> <laughs> so you won the first 50 lapper, yeah. finished second in the second one. So why don't you walk us through those two races and how everything went for you? Well, tonight? the first race was a little easier. You know, we, we all started on new tires pretty much. And uh, my car was really good on new tires. And then the second race, I didn't do anything to mine. And I kind of worried about it because, you know, we ran so hard the first one. But uh, AJ and him worked on their car and got a little bit better, obviously. And uh, he just... Um, he had a better car, but we were at, we were getting better at the end. You know, been another 10 last, which should have been 50 instead of 40. Then I think we had him. So. so you started the outlaw race, and three laps in, something happened. So what yeah, what happened? We, we uh, blew a motor, and uh, that's the first time I seen the car was here, and it's a great car. I can't wait. We're gonna run the uh, same thing in the, in the Snowball Derby, and maybe Nashville. So run several more races with it. It, gonna, it was a good car, though. You're gonna come back to Montgomery at any point soon? Mm -hmm. No, no whim. I definitely want to come back. I had a lot of fun here, man. Great people and great fans. Everybody's been super at the racetrack and um, had a lot of fun as usual. Hey guys, so it's Reed here. Um, so yeah, I didn't really do a, an outro clip yesterday at the race. A bunch of stuff going on. So you've seen by now the interviews with the top three from the uh, Prelate model race. Hunter Robbins won. Jeremy Mayfield won the first Grand National race, finished second in the second race. Um, so you've seen the interview with him. And then didn't get much from all the local divisions. Um, but yeah, I mean, you saw, you've seen everything that we've got, um, for a more detailed rundown, we'll have an article out sometime this week. Uh, there's already two articles out on Racing America, but that mainly just covers the Prolay models and then for last night, the Grand National Super Series. But for recaps from all the divisions, all the winners, we'll have an article out on at libertyracingreview.com later this week. Um, there's a lot of fun, over 350 miles of driving this weekend. Mainly to and from Pensacola, but um, it was a fun weekend. Thanks to JP and Steve coming down, we were able to do a lot of work yesterday. Um, so we'll be back, I guess in two weeks, we'll be going to Nashville Fairground Speedway for a super late model race up there. We're gonna do the same thing, interviews, articles, uh, vlog. So I guess we'll see you guys then.